Hello everybody, this is AK. I'm back. So this is another video regarding OCBC. Right? Uh, some of you might remember that not too long ago, I made a video on how someone uh, lost $500,000 doing day trading. And I said, um, half jokingly, well, quite seriously, in fact, that if he had invested that $500,000 in OCBC, he could have easily generated something like $30,000 a year in dividends. And um, quite possibly, he might actually be sitting on some paper gains, right? Maybe if he got in like even six months ago or something, it, has, it doesn't have to be like one or two years ago. So, um, and I think that video um, had a quite a big impact. I mean, uh, just looking at the number of uh, views that video garnered. And um, someone told me that he actually bought OCBC shares after watching that video. <laughs> it's one of those things um, that I'm mindful of and maybe fearful of actually, you know, that people would watch my videos or read my blog posts and do something based on what I say. So I, I, I always say that, you know, I'm just talking to myself. Please do your own due diligence before you make a decision, right? Um, don't write on someone's coattails, right? Um, it's not a good idea, okay? But anyway, uh, this fair fella said that um, he is quite pleased with the D dividend that has been declared, you know? And I made a video on this, like uh, two videos ago, I made a video on OCBC's uh, dividend being 5% higher than a year ago. But then he also read uh, somewhere that um, actually OCBC performed below expectations and they, they, they were, the dividends came in lower than expected. Well, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, um, I mean, market expectations being market ex expectations, uh, Mr. Market expected OCBC to be a bit more generous with the dividends, but that didn't come true. Uh, that didn't come through or come true. Um, I mean, there's no OCBC is not obligated to <laughs> meet market expectations, right? I mean, it's run by a management team and they decide how much of their earnings should be paid out in, as dividends. But having said that, there is a case to be made that uh, OCBC does seem to have a lot of excess capital. Um, to say that OCBC's uh, CET1 ratio or common equity tier one ratio is strong is an understatement is exceedingly strong uh, i think it's now at 15.9 percent it's pretty much higher than uob and dbs right and uh, so i think ocbc is true that they could pay out more in dividends and it's not going to hurt them much uh, it's not going to hurt, hurt them at all if they in uh, pay out more dividends. Their dividend payout ratio is now like 52%. I'm sure they can be like DBS and pay out like 60% or slightly more of their earnings as dividends and they'll be fine because their CET1 ratio is so high, it's 15.9%. A lot of excess capital. Um, having said that, I would rather invest in a company or in a business entity that is a bit more conservative than one that's reckless, right? Um, and more adventurous in inverted commas, right? So if a bit more conservative, the OCBC becomes financially uh, more robust, right? Um, by paying out 52% um, uh, or like 60% of their earnings as dividends, uh, it becomes more valuable in investment over time. But I think there's a good reason for OCBC to be conservative because um, OCBC does have exposure to commercial real estate in the US. Uh, they also have exposure to commercial real estate in Hong Kong, right? And um, in their report, OCBC say that they predict Hong Kong market valuations will come down even further with rising vacancy for their commercial real estate in the territory. Right, so um, I think they're just being cautious, 
right? And I, it's my guess that when things settle down, when the you know thing, and they realize that they don't need so much capital, they will pay out a special dividend like DBS did. Uh, and they might even do what DBS has uh, proposed to do, and that's to have a bonus <laughs> share issue and maintain the D dividends um, on a per share basis. Who knows, right? But I'm not worried about OCBC. And if Mr. Market feels pessimistic and is willing to sell down OCBC um, below the immediate support of 1290 that I identified two videos ago, I think that is probably an opportunity right so anyway uh, that's just something that I thought I'll share right and so if AK can talk to himself so can you bye bye